Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing something pretty fun. Um, it was recently my birthday and Wade ordered me a Ancestry DNA kit, which um, sounds pretty cool. Um, I think most people are very interested in where they come from and like just all of that. So um, Wade did this many, many years ago. It was gifted to him um, for Christmas and it was really cool like there's some things that he found out about like relatives and stuff and we kind of forgot about it after a while recently we watched a netflix documentary and it kind of made us remember that wade had done this before and he pulled up his account kind of dove a little bit deeper did some more research and he was really excited about it made me excited about it and i thought it would be pretty fun so of course he wanted to gift me that um so that is what we are doing today. I'm not really sure the process. I'm gonna open it up and read the instructions. Okay, so I opened up the kit and basically what is in there is the tube that I need to put my saliva in, the bag that I will put that in, and the box that I will mail it back to the company. Um, and then this nifty little thing. So it has all the instructions on here. So the first thing it looks like I need to do is register my kit. The second thing I need to do is take this tube out. It has a funnel to where I can spit my saliva in. I know that sounds gross. Um, and then I replace the funnel with this uh, liquid cartridge. And then I need to tighten it to release the stabilizing fluid. So once I tighten that onto the tube, it will release the fluid. I'm supposed to shake the tube for at least five seconds, and then I place it in the bag, put the bag in the box, and then mail it off. It's all ready to go. It already has everything I need on there. So yeah, that's really cool. I want to know how long it takes to get the results back. So it says your results will be ready um, on the website a roughly six to eight weeks from time that they received the sample. I actually thought it would be quicker than that. So I'm going to get this done today and I will mail it off tomorrow and six to eight weeks. I will get back with you guys and we will find out the results. Um, I will bring you guys along for that as I find the results out. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I have the results. It's been about a month since I sent them out, and this has actually been sitting in my inbox since the weekend. I didn't check my emails over the weekend, and Monday when I was checking them, I realized I had results. Um, it is now Wednesday, so for a couple of days, I've been holding off until I could sit down and open the results with you guys. So let's get to it. Okay, so it shows that I am 53% England and Northwestern European. 20% um, Wales, 18% Scotland, 3% um, Sweden and Denmark, 3% Norway, 3% Ireland, and 1% Finland. Um, so that's really cool. I was actually expecting the, um, expecting this, but not, I wouldn't think in Norway or Finland or Sweden. Um, oh, this is really cool. So it shows the regions inherited from each parent. So it shows, and I don't know which parent is what my mom or my dad, parent one and parent two. It shows on here DNA matches. So I can just go deeper and deeper and find people that I'm related to. Um, but it, I'm not going to go into that today, but it shows that I am genetically related to these people on Ancestry, 100,758 people, um, which is pretty cool. Um, and I actually, whenever I was looking at my emails, I didn't realize that my results were in. And the way that I found out my results were in was because I had an email from someone that I guess was notified that I matched them on here. Um, and they reached out and was just get asking how they could find me on the family tree because they didn't know where to start which I have no idea and I'll have to get back to that message and get further into my family tree to figure that one out because she's in England somewhere. Um, 
I can't remember the name, but it was really cool that she reached out and it showed at the bottom of the email. I briefly looked at it, but it showed that she was like a fifth, between fifth and eighth cousin. So that was really cool. Um, but yeah, just looking at this, this is, this is super neat. Um, I'm not going to get into any of the digging and details obviously in this video but i really wanted to share because i always think these are so cool I like to find out where you're from and um that's why wade got this for me for my birthday because i thought it was really cool and i've always wanted to know um yeah so i can't wait to dig a little bit deeper but thank you guys for following along and if you have any questions or um tips for me to dig deeper on here on this um, ancestry site, um, give them to me in the comments. Thank you guys for following along and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.